Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Import Subtitles. You can use this script to import subtitles into After Effects from either the Encore text script or the subrip file formats. Um, so to get started here, um, when you get the script, uh, you need to install it in um, scripts, uh, script UI panels. Uh, so there's a copy in there already. And um, then when you restart After Effects, you'll be able to select it from the window menu. So um, first thing to do is create a new composition. Um, if you're importing Encore text scripts, you should make sure the frame rate uh, matches that of the subtitles you're importing. Um, so um, and make sure that uh, you've got uh, your paragraph set to uh, centered text. Uh, if that's what you want, which you probably do. So um, let's go ahead and hit import subtitles here. And um, I've got some uh, files uh, here, some demo files. So this is an uh, Encore example of an Encore text script file. And uh, there you can see it's imported them. Um, and uh, let's uh, select a subrip and uh, I've got a copy of a subrip file here so again that's uh, imported let's um, take a quick look at these file formats so this is uh, what an Encore text script looks like and uh, this is what a subrip uh, SRT file looks like so um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to show you a few new things in this version. Um, firstly, uh, there's a new uh, bottom align feature. So um, the default is for uh, center align. So you can see here when we switch from one to two lines, it's uh, vertically aligned, uh, centered. Um, but uh, so if we use uh, bottom align here, and uh, we'll import that uh, subrep file again. And now you can see it's aligned to the bottom. So you might want to take uh, these subtitles and uh, once you've imported them, um, move them down to, uh, say, just inside the uh, title safe. And then um, the um, so the alignment will be aligned to the bottom of the subtitles, uh, no matter how many lines there are. So, um, so that's... Um, that's bottom align. Uh, so then uh, another uh, new feature is uh, you see this, op this option here read bold italic style tags. So um, subrip files can uh, contain these um, let's have a look here uh, HTML like uh, tags for uh, bold and uh, italic. Uh, so uh, let's try uh, importing that And um, we can see here that uh, it's imported with, so we've got a mixture of, uh, there's a bold and italic, bold, uh, just italic. And uh, these are, there's this new uh, style controller layer, and this is what's actually controlling the um, uh, the uh, format. So if I just turn that on, we'll have a quick look at it. So it uses um, um, you literally just put in here what uh, what you you want the uh, format to be. So B for bold, uh, A is all, as in bold and italic, and then um, uh, N is none for no style, and uh, I is italic. So you can um, you can actually make changes. Uh, this isn't really uh, expected, but you can actually make changes by um, uh, altering the uh, text here. Anyway, um, mostly you just want to leave that alone. So, uh, so that's how you uh, import bold and italic. And if we just um, twirl open the uh, text layer, you can see that it's added a um, bold and italic text animator. So 
you can then turn the bold and italic styles off afterwards uh, by um, with these options here and in fact you can go in here and um, it's using stroke width for bold so uh, you can actually change the boldness uh, or uh, it's using skew for italic so uh, you can change the amount of italic afterwards anyway so that's um, that's style tags from subret files and one final thing is um, let's say we were importing uh, some uh, text where we hadn't put line returns in so you can see this text is all too long and it's going off the uh, edges of the screen so um, in this version you can now also apply um, paragraph or vertical text and um, to do that what you would want to do is uh, create a new text layer uh, using either paragraph or vertical text and then have that selected when you do the import so uh, I'll show you an example here so I, by um, click dragging that enables um, paragraph text mode um, so uh, and then the text will be constrained within this area so by creating this text layer first and having it selected when I do import um, and let's import that um, file again then you can see it's now um, word wrapping um, inside uh, in fact I've kind of let's try that again I've not done that uh, best let's um, shrink down the uh, text size here and uh, let's create a slightly bigger paragraph text there let's try that so um, do the import again so hopefully you'll see that um, the text is wrapped inside um, inside that paragraph text uh, width so once you've imported your subtitles you can uh, composite them over uh, like reposition them and composite them over your footage uh, or you can uh, you could render it out with an alpha to import into your uh, into an editing uh, program uh, or if you have um, uh, Premiere Pro you can uh, like if we save the project you can uh, use dynamic link to uh, so we've got an empty Premiere Pro project here uh, and we can use um, dynamic link to uh, simply drag the uh, composition into Premiere Pro and uh, put it on the timeline and there we have our subtitles imported into Premiere Pro 2. Uh, okay that's the end of my demo thanks for watching